In the past few months, I have traveled to find the best chicken nuggets and the best fast food coffee. But then I was thinking, I'm missing out on the fast food staple, the fast food burger. So I traveled to a few new places, a few old ones, to find the best fast food burger. And while on our travels, things got a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's somebody's getting pulled over. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But now to the first location, the stop sign of Texas, Dairy Queen. I'll see y'all there. All right. Are we driving through the drive through like this? Yeah. Is this gonna be stable enough? Yeah. Okay. This might not. <laughs> Went up before it fell. How did your camera stay there? Oh, this is like a grip. Uh, yes. Can I do two hunger busters? Yes, everything on fine. That's gonna be it. Thank you very Thank much. You. This is the initial, initial burger. Oh God. I'm falling apart over here, man. The wrap around. <laughs> It's definitely a hamburger. The mustard's not too overpowering. Onion is a little bit overpowering, but not too terrible because it's got all the other toppings on there. Not much lettuce has fallen off of mine. I'm talking from personal experience. I would say overall, this would bust my hunger. It, like the patty is definitely a fast food I'm, patty, but everything else about it, I feel is more like a, you'd make this at home. I think it's gonna settle at a B. I'm gonna agree with you on the B. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hit this at a solid B. We'll get you at the next one. Giving Dairy Queen the rating of a B. Let's move on to Culver's see if they're any better. We have arrived at Culver's. Thanks for choosing Culver's. What can I make fresh for you today? Culver's Deluxe, please. Awesome, thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure, throwing that in there. Feel like I'm at a Chick-fil-A. Thank, thank you, you so much. You, have a good day, sir. you as well. They're very personal here. Check that out. Wow, that's a really good burger. Good meat, good toppings, everything seems very fresh. I think that one's gonna be an A. Why not the next one? This is really good. Culver's being the first rating of an A, we're going to the self-proclaimed king of burgers, Burger King. We're undercover for Burger King. Yes, can I do two Whoppers? Right. With uh, no cheese and no tomatoes. That's gonna be it. Thank you. Thank you. It was uh, a Starbucks worker. He grabbed her arm and reached at her other arm with um, zip tie handcuffs. Burger King is definitely one of the most underrated burger places. As far as taste. Yeah, it's a very nice wrap. It's the official, um, it's the official look of the burger. Let's do go it. for it. Now, I doubt that it's actually playing grilled all the time, personally. I like Burger King quite a bit. Personally, it's not my thing. I know, you, <clears throat> but do you taste like a different flavor versus the other two we've had? Oh, I, I definitely taste a different flavor. It's not good. I gotta give this a D. I gotta give this a C, man. Just because I like the flavor. You have other options that have better quality. Yeah. While this is like kind of one specific thing, I would say a C is a very fair rating for this. At least yeah. not in my opinion. I can see why you rated that. On the next one. Unfortunately, they didn't come in as the king of burgers on this rating, coming in at a D. Let's see if Five Guys can do the trick. We have here the Five Guys burger. Looks wise, a bit mushed together, kind of like the Jack in the Box was, and it's falling apart. But this is kind of like the Five Guys style. Let's give it a taste. Bun, fluffy, ingredients fresh. Could use a bit more flavor on the meat, but meat's not dry. Definitely an A tier. On to the next one. Five Guys coming in at an A, I'm guessing four would be a B. Let's go to McDonald's and have a McBurger. Can I do two quarter pounders with no cheese? Thank you. Thank you. You too. All right, so she she's made, she, she stared at that camera for a while. She's, I think she's still staring at us. Yep, mm -hmm. just keep looking forward. <laughs> Thank you. It's not about the size of the straw, it's how hard you suck. So we've got the uh, quarter pounder initial burger from the side. It's got a pretty nice look. So we're just gonna jump right into it. So it looks a little raw, especially for this thin of a piece of meat. Doesn't matter what the size of the meat, but how it feels in your mouth. <laughs> it's a very simple burger. It's definitely, I think the patties are fresh. I think that's what it is. I think that's some of why it's so little pink. I would say it's not as plain. The other burgers that I've had, they're definitely better than that. Again, all this stuff is subject to taste. All right, high B. High B. Big quarter pounder coming in at a high B. Let's head over to Whataburger, the place of Texas, orange and white. Let's see if that falls again. Yes, can I get two number ones, please? Thank you. I think she's the second. It says pay at this window. The sign slip says please pay at this window. I don't think I've ever seen it say please pay at this window. I didn't realize that it had another side. Ooh. And that's what happens. What? We could win an all aboard trip. This is the Jeopardy theme song. 
Oh my gosh, dude, this lid. <laughs> Look at this lid. Yeah, the lids are not on at all. It's a little bit smushed, but you know, we kind of deal Whataburger, with that. It's a burger, you know? Yeah. It's, it makes up for it in size. I think there's lettuce on my back. Not dry at all. Yeah, definitely not. This, I think, is a very good meat to bun ratio. If you were to put the bun back together, it would be the same width as the meat. I do have an issue with it, though. I feel like it's too much mustard. The mustard kind of overpowers everything. But it gives it a nice little tang. Which I think is nice, but most of the time if I have mustard, I usually pair it with ketchup. And so it kind of has the little bit of tang, but then it's also balanced out with the flavor of the ketchup. But with this, it's like all mustard, nothing to balance it out. The toppings on itself really complement the burger very well. The lettuce is actually green. The tomatoes are red. Like everything is the supposable color that it's supposed to be. But you know how like if you go somewhere and the lettuce is brown and it's just not good? Yeah. It's... Somebody's getting pulled over. <laughs> it's not me! We have the toppings, fresh. Fresh, never frozen. Fresh, never frozen. Wendy's. Take me to your factory. All your stuff wrong. tastes like a square. Our light went out. What do you rate it? An A. An A? We'll go with an A. On to the next one. Whataburger of Texas coming in at a rating of an A. Let's head over to the YouTuber owned burger company, Mr. Beast Burger. The Mr. Beast Burger. It's got this nice little packaging, pop it up inside. Very nice looking burger. And this is just the Mr. Beast style of burger. Give it a taste. Definitely doing something right. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the mustard mixed with the mayo, but other than that, the bun's got a nice crust on it. The burger patties are very well cooked. Overall, a very good seasoned burger. I definitely put this around the A or B tier. This is a pretty good burger. On to the next one. Rating Beast Burger B for reality. Let's head over to Sonic, not the Hedgehog. Uh, yes, can I get you two Sonic cheeseburgers? That's gonna be it. Thanks for your tip. In the kitchen. Which, by the way, I thought about that. Shouldn't the food already be in the kitchen? That is concerning, yeah. Yeah. Casey. Or she thought it. Hard baby LA. I can look at the menu. <laughs> oh shit, there's, that's, there's Casey, there's Casey, there's Casey. How's it going? Awesome, thank you. You too. Okay, Casey so Kay is like a 40 year old man with bedazzled earrings and probably a belly button beer snake. Sonic. Bun's a little hard. This is kind of too hard. If it was just a little bit softer, yeah. it'd be a perfect bun. It's like kind of chalky. It's not like smooth. Very flat. You ready to try this? Yeah. The meat is not dry. I had higher hope for this. Because sometimes Sonic Burgers, man, they just like, they hit the spot. They hit the spot, yeah. I wouldn't say that it's an F because in order for it to be an F, it has to be as bad as Jack and Box. This is like bottom of the bottom D. Low average D. Unsatisfactory D. Sonic coming in with a downward D in the drive-thru. Let's head over to a place that also serves spaghetti, Jollibee. We have arrived at Jollibee. Uh, could I do the, uh, the big yum burger? Hamburger? Yes, please. And that'll be it. Thank you. Did you say 5207? Let's park up front? Yeah. Okay. Hold the phone. I just needed one. They charged me for six. I just wanted uh I just wanted one. Just one uh yum burger. Oh just the... one? Yes, oh, please. Six? No. I had six, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like three to five days. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Y'all you have a great day. The Jollibee Yum Burger. Very small burger. It just has meat and a sauce. The bun is nice and fluffy. The meat's not dry, it's got that sauce on top. The sauce has great taste. I don't know what they put in that. I'd rate it like a B. On our next one. Jollibee rating with a B. Thank goodness I didn't have to buy those six burgers. It's time for America's favorite redhead, Wendy's. Welcome to Wendy's. Good morning, Vietnam. Well, Wendy's is over. home of the all time lovers. Uh, cheeseburger, Baconator. And most importantly, the Dave's. Hunger Buster? Dave's the, single. The Dave's single. Dave so, is single. Yeah, so in case you guys are looking for Dave, he's single. Very hot. That's why I want you to get on with this so I can eat it because it's <laughs> oh. very hot. Oh, God. Okay, well, then, let's, eat. let's eat this. Let's eat this. God damn, it's hot. Is it supposed to taste square? I don't know what it does. If I'd eat a square, this is how I would describe it. It's not as juicy as I thought it would be. Definitely fresh ingredients. I'd get this again. Next time I get it, I'll bring a cookie cutter. Just Because it tastes like a square, I have to go with a C. C tier burger. On to the next one. Wendy's coming in for a C for MC squared. Let's head over to Shake Shack. Shake Shack. This one was inside of a mall. I parked on the opposite side of the mall. So I walked through an entire mall twice, once holding a burger. That was a good time. This nice thing in here. This is the Shack burger. Actually try the meat first. It's all right. It's a little dry. 
It's a little dry. Yeah, there's no sauce on this. I think there's supposed to be sauce. Altogether, not a bad burger. I think I'm gonna put this at like C tier. See you at the next one. The shack was not shaking today. That's why it deserved a C, plus the long walk that I had to do through that mall. Let's head over to Checkers, not Chess. Got the Checkers which is um, a popular game and apparently a fast food restaurant. Like, I don't even know how to play checkers. I can play chess. Oh, I can play chess. But like, do you know how to play checkers? Uh, a little bit. I just know that there's like I know you, you can you can hop the circles. Pretty soft. Yeah, the, buns I mean, the, bun, soft. the bun does feel soft. It's got sesame seeds, so it's It does fancy. have sesame seeds. The patty uh, looks like it came from a freezer section. Is it warm? It is warm. It's a lot less dry than it looks, but it's not not dry. Yeah, it's not bad, the flavor's there. I think if you were to get like a non-plain burger, it'd probably be a little better. I do like the bun though. The oh, flavor yeah. of the bun, the, the texture bun's amazing. of it. I don't know, what would you rate this? Pretty average D. <laughs> I feel like it was a pretty average D. Um, we're just gonna... <laughs> I'll take it from here. Coming in on an average D, we have checkers. I don't want to spend five nights, but let's go to Freddy's. Freddy's steak burger. Right off the bat, giant slab of meat, huge pickles just hanging out. Bun is a bit weird, kind of mashed together. Get a bite of everything. The meat's not dry, but the burger tastes like it's dry. The bun's not that fluffy. The pickle's like super flimsy and tough. This is a C tier burger. On to the next one. Definitely not spending five nights there with a rating of C. It's time for the man who lives in a box, Jack in the Box. Yes, can I do two Jumbo Jacks with no cheese? Okay, yeah, that's gonna be it then. What if Colonel Sanders is actually Jack in the Box, but he doesn't have the mask on? That would mean Jack is also dead. Yeah, but Colonel Sanders' family is still alive. You always see KFCs next to Jack in the Box, or in the same city. Well, yeah, they're fast food. You always see, like, McDonald's no, and Burger King in the same city. You're not thinking service. about this. You're thinking about this like, you know, how they want you to think about it, how the birds want you to think about it. Yeah. Oh, God, I went to high school with this kid. This is going to be awkward. It's I'm going to call you my life. boyfriend. Excuse me? Thank you very much. So I would say automatically, Jack in the Box gets higher praise just because then of their what? customer service. Of all the other places, they didn't shut the window on us. They let me sit there and experience what it's like to be on their end. That's near. This is the Jumbo Jack. Look at that. Oh, that I can already tell. This is gonna make my stomach hurt so bad. It's Presentation <laughs> alone, it looks like it's like been sitting in water for a really long time. Dude, I have like half a head of lettuce on here. Like my lettuce is just a whole leaf. This is what we're working with. Okay, well, before we talk too much more, we gotta try it. All right, but all we're gonna eat is lettuce. All right, you ready? All right, yeah, you ready to try go. this? Let's do it. Why does it taste that way? I don't know, I don't like it. Please tell uh, someone the F. F. F, 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 on the next one. That was the worst burger we've ever had. It's time for the California resident, in and out If she asked like why we're filming, we're saying for Make-A-Wish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> From Make a Wish. Yes. No. Yes. No. Can I get a hamburger animal style? Can I think of you at all? I want to spend I don't some time all. with you. Just oh, are you guys doing? doing good. Oh, uh, yes, please. Okay, so the lap mats. <laughs> That's a lap mat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's another one. Oh, perfect. Uh, it looks like. Oh, thank you. Uh, the first one looks like a guy that would come up to you with uh, like a little clipboard. And, and try to sell you some insurance. And try to sell you some insurance, yeah. I would say that that's pretty good quality. I mean, like, like that's nice of them to have these little yeah, things it, down. Yeah, it smells bad. Yeah, I mean, it smells like paper yep. and like fake color. It's like uh -huh. coloring pencils. That's what it smells like. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Why did you mm, sniff your chest? Don't get closer. You, you would don't. sniff your chest. <laughs> I, of all I, the other places you could have I sniffed. sniffed here. Yeah, that's her chest. That's that's right where her chesticles are. You okay, buddy? No. I mean, I definitely think it is nice that they put this. Oh, look. We yeah, can exactly. look at We can, we can watch look at all them. the workers. We can watch them all. So they've got a nice little area where you can watch the workers. Hi. So yeah, it's a nice, nice little area. Purple. Say, we're here for make a wish. We <laughs> want to make you a wish. Make you wish you would still live after this interaction. Welcome back to see how fast we can eat burgers through our Got my lap mat. This is this is my lap mat. I'm gonna drip sauce all over. <laughs> you wanna try a burger? It's an animal style burger. The sauce, grilled onions, lettuce, tomato, everything, everything's pretty fresh. Not bad. I feel like if you do the single, the bun kind of overpowers the whole thing. 
It does, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. Not my favorite, but it's still good. Better than most. I can agree with that. Definitely top of A. I don't know if we're gonna push it to an S. I would agree with that. Now to figure out the finalists. Well, crack my back and call me Crystal. This video took forever. And with the two finalists being In-N-Out and Whataburger, we only have one winner. And that is for y'all to decide. Down in the comments below, let me know what you think the best fast food burger is. I think both of them are pretty exceptional. We just couldn't choose. And if you really enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be eating a tarantula live on stream. And right here is a video where I went and tried the best fast food coffee. The deciding factor on that one was pretty surprising. Definitely recommend you watch it. I hope you have a good day and bye for now.